Previously on Film School. This film is based on personal experiences. I've always secretly thought that maybe my mom should be in it. Why'd you decide that I should be in the film versus an actress? I feel like I'm totally exploiting her, and I feel it's hurt my relationship with her, which is totally the opposite of what I wanted. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm scared that we won't get the money. I'm scared that we won't get the locations. We have 30 days for shooting stars, right? So we are way below what we expected. It's just like you're staring on the barrel of a gun. I still have to find money for my film. I have to be a producer, making phone calls, doors shut on my face. Because of the short time, I need a shark. So I'd like to work with you on this. The next few days, I'm going to be thinking of the different ways to raise money. I was uh, mesmerized by her, and I think she can do it. Four film students, ten weeks, one goal. To direct an award-winning student film and launch their careers. Which one has what it takes? In film school, I mean, you know, we had producers. You had to find your crews. You had to find people that you felt you could be your DP and your editor. The basic rule is if you have no money, the more pre-production you have, the better. You storyboard, you know, for sometimes you're writing the script yourself and then you're storyboarding it and then you're shot listing it. it I think the, the biggest pitfall is not being prepared enough. We took it very seriously. Uh, making a film was, was no light responsibility. Who, so, who wanna start with goodness? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have a steady cam operator. That's great. That's um, fantastic. Erden's got the connections. No nice kidding. Guy. You're doing That's my great. job, which is fine. I'm George glad that uh, I found Jennifer. Yeah. She has a boyfriend. Parker would be the line Seven. producer. So responsibilities are make a budget, put together the crew. I'm leaving Monday morning. So. And Jennifer's going in LA to try to find some money for the film. Really? Or to target the right people so we're not spinning <laughs> wheels? Yeah, I think that's a very critical moment yeah. now when you will go in LA. I think it's a great place to go for this fundraising. She has some contact at Warner Bros. She said also something connected with Ted Turner. These are people that, for them, like $10,000 are nothing. She's pretty confident. My expectation is that they can come back with fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. I want to raise the money and say that I had some sort of success doing it. I mean, my goal is to have some, some, um, some success at producing this. Vincenzo clearly will be a strong filmmaker. So that's why we're as uh, involved as we are and why we are as personally dedicated, I think you could say. I always think it's important to help an artist, whatever kind of artist it is, because that's what I love to do, you know? I think it'll work out well, we hope. Now we're going to uh, meet my friend from Sony and hopefully he'll um, lead us to some money sources. They almost SWAT teamed us when we, really when, we, when, we, when we stopped in the uh, entrance to the garage for more than like 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's like two or three of them came over and were yes. telling us to move on, move on, which, fine. Security didn't used to be this bad. I'm meeting with my friend at Endeavor Agency. He just has a lot of contacts, people who maybe have some disposable income. Sometimes when you schedule a meeting, 
that person who you're supposed to meet might have a very busy schedule. So since we're not the high, uh, we're not on the high end of the priority scale, even though we're friends. Uh, whenever you're going looking for money, it's like very hard. So people don't want you looking for money with them. Not even a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> First day, I'm guessing what's going on, no? I hope that they have good flight, and now probably they already have some appointments. In your opinion, how much do you think they have race there? I would say, in my position, if I went to California and I had to raise some money in one week, I say I could get $5,000. Let's say $2,000. I could get $2,000 for my little brother. <laughs> I just hope it's gonna work out and that they raise money for this film because I don't have time. <laughs> there is no time at all. I was disappointed with how much money we got from the fundraiser. I guess I'm gonna end up putting everything on a credit card. Here's the um, contact information of everybody who's involved in this. This isn't gonna be uh, easy. Things are not all good. Um, Budget. <laughs> I got enough money for film and processing, maybe. Does anybody know Carrie? DP, cinematographer. We're going to shoot Super 16 because Carrie wants Super 16. <laughs> Carrie's my boy. Last year, I was like, I need to work with this dude. So I asked him, like, shoot my film next year. And uh, he was like, OK. This is going to be pretty ambitious. But like, I got the best crew. It almost seems like, how the fuck is all this going to come together? Trying to get as much pre-production done as I can. Wow. Definitely, we're going to shoot. I mean, you pretty much have to. Everything artistic and creative feels good. The money, the paperwork, all the bullshit that you got to do, that's not cool. And then we in classes 24 hours a day. You would first be a human being, then you'll be a good director. I'm just gonna ask you guys to give me like 50 push-ups. Come on, Frank, you're a little slow there, man. Come on, man, let's go. Come on, Josh, a little slow there. God. Woo! Shit. Then you get those little moments of creativity. You visualize something and you know it's gonna work. And that's when pre-production is cool. I'm tired. I've been out in California for the past week doing pre-production for my film. One of my big concerns right now is whether I want my mom to play the mother character. I've asked Rusty to fly out here so I'd have a partner to rehearse with my mom and be my emotional support. He also wanted to meet my mom. He hasn't met her yet, so I really wanted him to meet her. I don't know, it's symbolic. Eight months into a relationship, meet the parents. Hey, girl, I'm dead. Uh, I'm rehearsing a scene with my mom, and I'm having Rusty read the part of Simone. <laughs> you ready? Mm -hmm. Shooting a film with my mom, it'll be somewhat of a struggle. Do you need any condoms? Mom. I don't know if I'm emotionally strong enough to direct her. How should you know? You can't even have sex. That's none of your business. No, 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 no. Wait till I say cut. Oh. OK, let's do it again. I don't have very good memories of growing up with my mom. Do you want to order pizza instead? Most of my memories were just of me having to take care of her and hating it. She would fall out of her wheelchair a lot, and then I would have to pick her up. Do you need any condoms? Mom. And I just didn't like touching her, because um, I thought I was going to get sick if I touched her. OK, I think we could do it without the scripts. No. No? Remember, I don't care about the lines being right. I can't, can you maybe be old? I don't know where. It's kind of hard to, well, okay, I'll just be, it's just stupid. <laughs> I feel weird too. Okay, I'll go back here. <laughs> okay, last one. 
Do you need any condoms? My decision is based more on, you know, just me sitting and thinking, is it going to work? Cool. Thanks. Okay. So, okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Carrie and I are on the Staten Island Ferry to map out that opening shot of the film. And Carrie's been shooting for a while now, doing stuff on videos and things like that. Very confident camera person. So this would be the first shot of the entire film? Are you sure? Yeah. It's like a little floating city almost. I still don't get that. All Rick and I were like, you know, like brothers. Or, I don't know, he's more like my girlfriend. He gets upset about little things. You still want to do the shot in the beginning? Yes. You have a whole scene where you don't even see Dalo, so I'm just wondering why. Why do you need to see him at because that point? Because it's a really annoying frame when for a whole minute you don't see somebody. It's just, it's as if something's wrong, you know, and not wrong in the, in an avant-garde way, just wrong, you know? I'm sorry, man. In my mind, that's how I pictured it. That's how I saw it happening. Do you remember how people reacted in class? Don't use class as no gauge for me. My classmates' opinions are not going to decide how I make this film. It's an aesthetic choice you're making. I just think, you'd be honest saying, like, I want to do that, you know, just because you want to. I mean, sure, it's your movie and stuff. I just want to, I want to understand why. Someone asked me why the hell I shot that. I want to know why I shot that. Because I don't know why I shot that. There's a better way to go about it than that. That's all I'm saying. This project is life and death for me. There are certain things that I don't waver on. My film is based on the shooting death of West African immigrant Amadou Diallo, shot 41 times by these four police officers. As soon as I heard the news broadcast, I got pissed off. Like, it, it was extremely personal to me. My, my father was killed when I was a kid. I, mean, I was four years old or something like that. My father was uh, at a work site one day. He was an engineer or something, and two men with machine guns came and shot him. Shot him so many times that they separated his legs from his torso. Maybe this movie subconsciously comes from losing a father to a violent crime. It's not something I can calculate, but it's probably a driving force in the, in the things that I do, and the things that I fight for. Are you ready to dance? Ready to dance. Let's dance again. Let's play. We have here and from Me, me and Odin, we are we're in pre-production. Oh, this is the part I love. It's important now that as soon as we can speak with Jennifer again to try and get this first AD in here, because that's going to take a long time for a first AD. We are a little worried about the crew. We need that answer from Parker. They don't call back. I'm surprised because, come on, we are like 15 days before the shoot. Apartment in your room, you know. Hi. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Slacking, what's up? <laughs> oh, you know, just doing this thing. Good for you. <laughs> Put it all together. Yeah, exactly. Better. What? Here? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're working on a, um, we're working on producing a 15-minute <laughs> short half. for an Italian film director from NYU grad school. So, what, what, what do you like? What can you share with us about your well, experience as an independent? What specifically? I mean, like, is it in terms of my experiences? In terms of, like, I'm happy to help. In terms of money? Or are you talking in terms of? Well, like with your fundraising experience, for example. Right. You know. Well, there's not a guy out there who's a professional fundraiser of short films. Because 99.9% .9 of the chance you will never make money on a short. So someone's got to know that that's what they're getting into. They're not going to make money. But you can get other things out of it. So if you're, if you're going to be producing feature films, and this is like the first short, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Then you're going to get something out of it. You need to, you're going to have to suck some of it up. You're going to have to lay down 
whatever you have credit card personal mom dad cousin I don't we know. don't have anything yeah we <laughs> don't I don't believe like that though that. everyone says that hundred dollars five hundred dollars we don't have that kind of money but, I'm saying, but I think I you know talk. what I'm thinking about an avenue, Gil, is to talk to Michelangelo and Antoniani and Fellini, you know? All, all I'm saying at the end of the day, yeah. is when it's like, fuck, we can't make it. Well, I think we... At the end of the day, it's you or nobody. You just do every little thing. You just get it done. If me writing you a check for $100 help this guy get his film made, I'll write it right now, you know? That yeah. is so nice. Who do I make it out to? I think you should make it out to him because we're starting a production... No, I trust you, whatever you think. ...to a production company and we're both, you know, he's I'll the line... I'll just put it in the memo. Remember, got you to Parker? Park Productions, I guess. Really? Yeah. I don't care. Do whatever's yeah. easier for you. Jen Park Productions. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. You may be able to cash that? Yeah. Well, you, you, you need an to account. Open. You have to have an account open in a GBA. I don't care. Fine. Whatever's easiest. Are you sure Gen you don't Park. want to just put it in your name right now and then we can put it in the Gen oh, Park Productions? Oh, if he's okay with putting it in my name? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure, Parker Cross. I trust him. He's my line producer. Your $100 well, we... is most appreciated. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm happy to do it. Really Thank nice. you. It's motivating to have someone like Henry Winkler, who's a total <laughs> icon, <laughs> you know, to, to say that's great what you're doing. I mean, people that are successful that really approve of what you're doing, that's always nice. Also, so, some of the... They give you that... I'm sorry. No, they give you, you know, they give you that push. <clears throat> I don't have any news from uh, Jennifer. I leave a message on the answer machine. I sent also email every day. So at this point, I don't know. I don't know anything. There is something that really drives me crazy. is the fact that and there are people knowing what's going on, and I don't. This drives me a little bit, you know, mad. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they're so busy trying to get money for this production that they don't have the time to pick up the phone. And that's the only assumption that I can have at this point. That's what they're doing. They're doing their job. It's in the way. I'm clearing out all my stuff from years of living in LA. I have to close the storage facility today. This is it, because they're going to charge me again. I'm so glad we got a lot of this done. Pair socks. Yeah. Look, I found a pair. Okay. I think maybe those are keepers. Uh, I don't know, man. Today we're gonna have our final crew meeting before we start shooting in a few days. Just wanna make sure that we all know what needs to get done. Make sure that things with Carrie and I are vibing. So everyone has a schedule. Is everything cool now? Are people on the same page almost? I'm not, yeah. I don't feel satisfied yet with how our opening's working. I was, I was reviewing pictures from Staten Island Ferry and I was thinking about it in my head and it's not a strong shot. I am perfectly happy with an approaching shot of Metropolis and frankly there's more important shots to focus our energy on. It's a week, it's a week. There's definitely a better way we can do this. That's all I'm saying. I think, I think it is important the way a film starts off. It's, I, Dude, you, I mean, when you say shit like that, you think it's important the way a film starts off? I, I don't think it's important the way a film starts yeah, off, Yeah, but man. you're willing to sacrifice it to do I'm this. Not will, I'm not saying I'm sacrificing anything, man. I'm trying to work with what I can uh, get and what I can do. Well, when you say shit like, I think it's important the way a film starts off, what does that imply about me, man? Come on. No, I think come you're projecting on. this Rip, now. No, come on. come on, bring it. Come on, listen to me, what I'm saying. You have, don't think I've been thinking about this since day one? If I think it's weak, I'm gonna tell you. No, right now, can I say something? Yeah. You're right now, you're telling me how you see the scene taking place. I'm talking about my movie. This is one of those moments where you're trying to say, why the fuck am I making a film? Should be in another fucking profession.
I'm, I'm missing the point. Do they went to Los Angeles? Or do they went in Sahara? I have no idea. I hate waiting. This doesn't get anything done. Do you think? Yeah. Maybe we could do just a little mock budget or something. So let's do it. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna get my computer. Okay. Damn. Okay, let's say camera equipment and lenses. I'm gonna put this whole fucking movie together today. So we have to do it. Because someone has to do it. Okay. All right. Because probably we need another producer. There is no communication. And it's almost 10.30 now. Hello, Vincenzo. Hey, it's Parker. I was waiting for the, this call. Um, you know, the biggest thing is, I know you had some concerns about crew. Yeah, because uh, hopefully we are going to shoot something in 10 days. I mean, the first thing I'd say is not to worry at all. We'll, we'll have this thing crewed up, no problem. Um, I, I, I would love to believe that, but you know, there was like a one week almost without having, having any news, walking blind. I can't say really that I'm happy about that. Bottom line is, don't you worry about that. That's not something that you need to worry about. I'm just trying, you know, uh, to make my film, Parker. Yeah, but that's, that's I, okay, I'm not sure if I'm getting through to you or not, because what I'm telling you is we are, in, in a lot of ways, well ahead of the game in comparison to a lot of other projects that, you know, a lot of other projects. Let me hand it over to Jennifer now. Thanks. Good work, Park. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? I'm good, good thanks, Vincenzo. How are you? I'd like to know all, all, what's going on, like, uh, for fundraising. There are good news. There is something. Uh, we had a donation from a friend. His name is Gil. So he stroked out a $100 check. How much? And we, How much? One hundred dollars. Oh wow! One hundred dollars. Uh, the other thing is Henry Winkler gave us a twenty-dollar bill with his signature. Henry Winkler. Is it? Ooh, Fonzie. The Fonz. The the, yeah, the Fonz. The Fonz. He gave twenty dollars just out of his wallet when he heard what we were doing. So right now there are just these two people, the filmmaker and the Henry Winkler. That. Um... Yeah, but they're. I mean, you know, the amounts are something. You know, they're not. They're. They're. There are those amounts, but you know, at least they're from two great people. <laughs> Let's talk tomorrow, okay? Okay, that sounds good. Bye bye. It's the same information I've been hearing all no, no, no. week. It's not the same information, sorry. It's not the same information. Well, it's not the... It's not the same information. The, it, it, first, it's some information. It's some information. Finally. Now I realize that I'm out of NYU. Yeah. You understand this? It's clear that I will never find the money to shoot the film. That's the point. Next on Film School. We're getting closer to the deadline. I can't schedule my life around her. I'm living and breathing this film right now. Like, I want the audience to feel kind of like, ugh, oh, you know, like she's being touched and she doesn't like it. He's belligerent. Oh, He's no, like I mean, acting really... like a dictator instead of a director. Fuck! It's not sabotage anything. This is making a film real and possible. Squinting my 